For some golfers, it takes a while to reach the pinnacle of the sport. Success doesn't necessarily come easily. Kevin Kisner became a professional back in 2006, but only started to make an impact on the rankings in the past 12 months, climbing from 282nd into the top 20 in the world. Kisner is getting used to his new status on the PGA Tour. When we caught up with him at the Cadillac Championship, it was not at the usual press conference. Instead, we found him toasting his recent success in the William Hill Lounge. It's a cool atmosphere to come out and, and be in the open air and be right on the golf course. Uh, I mean, right here on the 17th green, 18th tee, you can't find a better spot for these guys to have a, have a hospitality area and, and to be able to come and host people and show off, showcase their wines. A lot has changed for Kisner in a short period of time. It was only last November that he claimed his debut victory on tour at the RSM Classic in Georgia. His long journey to the top has given him real perspective on his current success. Yeah, I mean, I've gone from the lowest of lows to the highest of highs, and, and I never want to be one of those guys that doesn't appreciate all the great things the PGA Tour has to offer, and I, I just appreciate the opportunity of being able to play out here. It's been a whirlwind of uh, good golf, and, and obviously with those comes a lot more things, a lot more responsibility, so trying to juggle how I manage my career and, and uh, how, how life changes as you play better is uh, a big part of what I'm doing right now. Before that victory, Kisner had been runner-up four times in 2015, losing three playoffs. Most memorably at the WGC HSBC Champions in Shanghai, he held the third round lead but was forced to settle for second as Russell Knox came through on Sunday to lift the old Tom Morris Cup. It was an interesting week. I wasn't sure I was going to play. I, I had a little back injury that hurt in Malaysia. And, I didn't even play a practice round, so to come out and play well in that tournament was, was a, a big feat for me. And, and uh, having a chance down the stretch, I played well, but he just he never backed down. And um, I made a nice putt on the last hole to finish solo second, which was a big putt for me. He could have been excused for wondering if a win was ever going to come. But just a few weeks later on his 109th PGA Tour start, Kisner shot a 64 in the final round to storm to a six-stroke victory at the RSM Classic. Well, I knew if I kept putting myself in the position, I would win one. Um, I always felt confident in that, and I, I played well and in, in down the stretch in all the tournaments I had a chance to win, and uh, I knew if I kept doing that, I it would be my time sooner or later. You know, you get that little monkey off your back, and, and people don't have to ask you anymore when are you going to win. So um, now, it's, now it's on to win the next one and start competing in the majors and, and the World Golf Championships. The win gave him an early lead in the FedEx Cup standings, and his good form has continued this year. He's had two top ten finishes, ensuring he is very much in contention for a debut appearance at the Ryder Cup in September. Yeah, that's a huge goal of mine. You know, I've always been a team guy. I've played other sports and played on teams, and I appreciate the camaraderie amongst teammates. And uh, I need to just take care of my process, and, and those results will come. If I continue to do what I, I know I can do, then I'll have a good shot at it. Kisner's results have also earned him a first appearance at the Masters next month. He grew up in South Carolina, less than 20 miles from Augusta National. As a child, he loved watching the tournament and has always dreamed of competing in it. It's going to be uh, the highlight of my career. It's a dream come true. I grew up 20 minutes from the golf course, so um, looking forward to having a lot of fans and friends coming out to watch me, and hopefully I can put on a performance for them. It's always my goal to have a chance to win and be in contention, and as long as I keep putting myself in that, I'll be happy with my career.